Hello everybody. My name's Jay and I'm going to take you on a journey of fitness over the next several months. A um, little bit of background on me. I own a CrossFit gym with my wife Lacey. We've had that for uh, just almost seven and a half years now. Fantastic. Love what we do. Um, I've got over 10 years of experience in CrossFit and um, used to do it competitively and everything, went to the uh, regionals multiple times, games and everything, did all that stuff. Uh, I don't do it to compete anymore. Prior to that, I was a football and track athlete. Um, I would say more track, um, sprints, hurdles, that type of stuff, um, up to university level, national level, and club and everything. So, why am I shooting this video? Um, I used to shoot a lot of video on CrossFit, and I, I think we're talking like almost 10 years ago, nine years ago. Um, I remember it, gra it, it grasped me like, like nothing ever had before. I loved that stuff. Shocking. That's never happened to anyone with CrossFit before. Um, and I think I was one of the early people that started just kind of videoing their their stuff and I put together this compilation video um, one time and the purpose of that was uh, I had done a I done about a year of training on my own and I'd been to regionals before I ever stepped in to an affiliate gym and when I stepped in there um, to coach people thought that it came easy to me and I didn't have to, to work as hard and I didn't have failures and um, that wasn't the case at all. Maybe I came from a background where I had a lot more, um, just a lot more fitness background in general, but I struggled hard. There were a lot of things that were not natural to me and what's cool is that I had, I had a lot of video from those days and, and not, not really early days. Like I, the earliest video I ever shot was like six months in, but I, I was able to put a video together of basically struggling and failing to overcoming and succeeding. And I, and I overlaid a bunch of quotes over top of it of like what was going on in my head and I, what I know goes on in people's heads while they're, uh, while they're hitting these workouts. And it, it struck a chord. Um, this is back in 2011. Uh, YouTube was not what YouTube is now. And uh, I went to, it, it got 105,000 views in a week five days I think it was shared around a lot um, and in subsequent weeks it like it's it's up in the hundreds of thousands um, and what what came from that was was really cool um, for years I got messages from all around the world of just people that had shared their their stories and how that that video either got them started or inspired them to keep going um, or just gave them motivation on days when it was a little bit harder to get going. And that's really cool. Um, and so, um, now we get to where we're at now and what's happening in my life now. Uh, so at the moment, I am walking back to our place uh, in Miami Beach. I just dropped in at Reebok CrossFit Miami Beach for a workout. Um, but why am I doing this? Those that know me, I, I'm not a huge fan of social media, to be completely honest. I have kind of, not removed myself, but I'm not active at all, really, on Instagram or personal Facebook. Um, I use them for our business a ton. But personal stuff, I've just kind of kept it out of there. Um, YouTube, I haven't made a YouTube video in a long time. But back near the end of the summer, I was challenged by a guy named Darren that I'm working on to help build his gym um, in Toronto. I was challenged by him, actually not even challenged, he told me he was doing a half Ironman distance triathlon. And I told him that I had been thinking about doing one of those, just I, I like kind of seeking out hard things to do. 
and it was five weeks out and we got off of our call and 10 minutes later I signed up. Um, I woke up the next day not really realizing what I'd just done. It kind of started to sink in and over the next five weeks I, I trained, I prepared myself. Um, I didn't receive any coaching, I just kind of I received a little bit of uh, insight from people who had done them before, but um, just kind of put together a plan and got miles on my feet and miles in the saddle and swam three times in the open water and went and hit it. And it went really well. Uh, I completed it in five and a half hours, 5.30.52 was the exact time. And it was a ton of fun. Um, and then the next day I realized like I don't have, like I really enjoyed actually going out on the bike and running and kind of swimming in the open water by myself not really but um but it was kind of like a sad day like it was a happy day because the the event went great but it was a sad day because I knew that I wasn't going to keep doing that stuff and so you know a couple weeks went by and um I signed up for a half marathon completed that and and during all of that I challenged a bunch of people from our gym to just to get out of their comfort zone and, and sign up for that run, whether it was the half marathon, the marathon, the 5K, or the 10K, and a bunch of them did. And I kind of rode that, that wave of momentum myself, and I signed up for that half Ironman again. But when I did, it didn't scare me, which was weird, because in our August, when I signed up, it terrified me. And so... I, I realized that and I went and I signed up for a full Ironman, uh, Ironman Lake Placid, which is next July, and that scares the crap out of me. And that's, that's what I want. I, I like that. Um, and so that's kind of where we are right now. Um, it's November 15th. We are months and months out. Like, I, you know, I'm, currently I'm, I'm doing CrossFit with our crew, like, five days a week do a little bit maybe a little bit of running maybe a little bit of biking I've got my bike set up indoors um, on the Wahoo kicker snap doing some rides on Zwift I just ran a 10k yesterday here right along the boardwalk Um, but really right now it's just kind of just doing fitness still I'll get a little bit more specific you know in later months I've actually just um I've just signed up for Team Trainiac with uh, Triathlon Taryn, who was someone in the lead up to that triathlon that I did. I, I tried to learn everything I possibly could, and so the guy puts out great content, and uh, I watched a lot of his videos, tons of them, whether it was just learning about gear and, and bikes or actual workouts or actually how to take on the race. And then when I did that, um, I was actually linked, I think when I stopped watching one of the videos, it linked to another video um, by a guy named Nick Bear, who was training for his first Ironman really without doing anything kind of similar to what I did. He just went a little bit bigger the first time. Um, and I thought that was really cool. So I, I kind of went along and I, I found that we were in very similar places um, and, and l- just actually listening to the podcast that he did with Taryn, uh, our lead up was so similar and like the things, the, the things that we were kind of learning on our own and the realizations that we were having, even right down to like the experience on race day. Um, so that was really cool. So I'm going to shoot another video and just kind of recap, um, my feelings from signing up to training throughout those weeks to actual race day. Um, I did do a few pretty detailed write-ups along the way, so uh, I'll be happy to recap those, but again, to the reason why I'm doing this, it's a lot of people that just need to do do more, do more things, sign up for things, do things that scare you. I know it's it's cliche, but like you just you do these things and you feel good. You feel good. You live a better life. You're you're happier. You're you're better for those around you. So that's kind of been my message over the years. And uh, it'll be cool to see where this goes. So that's my little intro.